For a long time, we assumed the solar system ended where the planets ended. But the discovery of the Kuiper Belt in the 90s doubled the reach of the sun's influence and led scientists to ask, could it reach further? Turns out it does, much further, and we wouldn't be here if it didn't. If you put a Geiger counter in this room, it would click. If you put a Geiger counter up in space, it would click a lot more. It's detecting a deadly form of radiation called cosmic rays. Cosmic rays are essentially subatomic particles, like the nuclei of helium atoms and protons and electrons, that are zipping through space at almost the speed of light. And these can travel across great distances, hundreds, thousands of light years. And it turns out, they hit us here on Earth. Cosmic rays blast out of exploding stars deep in the galaxy, and they're incompatible with life. They can rip out electrons. They can, in fact, change the chemical configuration of cells causing mutations. They can ultimately kill you. If the Earth were continually blasted by cosmic rays without any protection, it's not clear that advanced forms of life could survive. But very few of the cosmic rays aimed at us hit us. Clearly, something out there is protecting us from the full onslaught of cosmic rays from the universe. It's our sun, creating a deflector shield reaching 8.7 billion miles out in space, using its solar wind. When you think of wind, you think of the air of the Earth you know, moving through your hair. The solar wind is nothing like that. It is actually a stream of high energy particles coming off the sun. Things like hydrogen. And it's substantial. It's billions of tons every second. Some parts of the solar wind are going as fast as about 2 million miles an hour. It can pack quite a wallop. The wallop blows by us here on Earth because our planet's magnetic field deflects it away. The solar wind doesn't just stop at the Earth, it's out in space, it keeps going. It blows past the inner planets. It blows past the outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and keeps going. It also blows past the Kuiper Belt, carrying the sun's magnetic field three and a half billion miles beyond, and creates a huge defensive shield around the solar system called the heliosphere. The solar wind is blowing a bubble around our solar system. The sun is like a, a big mother that literally creates a bubble of charged particles and associated magnetic fields that protect us from cosmic rays coming from outside the solar system. The incoming cosmic rays hit the outgoing solar wind, and most are deflected away into space. Without this standoff deep in space, we'd be wiped out. <laughs> 